Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you want to use Gmail offline, just a quick video to show you how you can actually use the email client offline to manage emails without any internet connection. Now, just a quick overview as to what uh, Gmail offline mode is all about. Gmail offline obviously allows you to access, read and manage your emails when you don't have access to an internet connection. You can also continue working as if you were online and any emails that you do um, compose will be stored in an outbox folder and sent automatically once your device reconnects. So that's basically what offline mode is all about in case you're unaware. So how we do this in Gmail, in case you're unaware, is we head up to our little gear icon to the top right, click on that, and then here at the top you'll see see all settings click on that and here you'll get offline right here to the right hand side depending on your screen um, ratio it could also be popped here underneath but you click on offline and here you'll see enable offline mode just check that box and here you've got a couple of options the default is store emails from the last 30 days I actually like to keep mine at 90 on all my devices. And yeah, at the bottom, you've got two options. After logging out of my Google account, keep offline data on my computer. I like to toggle that option, but you've also got remove offline data from my computer. And then yeah, you'll see we are using 127 megabytes of 279 gigabytes available for offline mail on your computer. So it tells you exactly what you are using um, according to your sync settings. And then once you've chosen your different preferences, then you click on Save Changes. And it just tells you offline not, not recommended for shared devices. Click on Got It. And now you'll see it restarts the Gmail uh, service. And you'll notice it gives you a little prompt. It will tell you that you need to create a bookmark to be able to use Gmail offline create a bookmark for offline access and i've already saved that in my favorites but you can always create a bookmark because if you don't create that separate bookmark when you're offline you can't access it through your browser then you'd click got it and the reason for creating a bookmark is because as an example if we head to a new tab page in google chrome the gmail link will not be there when you're offline so you've got to save it as a bookmark and you can see here in my top right, it's downloading 14 attachments and it's downloading my emails um, to be used at a later stage. And that will download my last 90 days worth of emails. And while we are talking about attachments, if an email was already synced with an attachment, you can view it without an internet connection. But just take note though that downloading new attachments or sending emails with large files will require waiting until connectivity is restored. So just keep that in mind. And there we go. We can see it to the right, ready for offline. And I can now use my Gmail with the last 90 days worth of emails offline if I so wish or I find myself in a situation where I do not have an internet connection. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.